Welcome, brethren. This is a uh, biblical science, Manuel Fernandez. There, uh, this uh, video is going to be about the uh, the providence of God. I uh, explained earlier how, if you're a true Christian, you you abide by the providence of God. How He, this is His world. You don't need uh, as far as for to understand His power and existence. The Bible to be your proof. The Bible is to understand and obey him and get to know him intimately by knowing his son okay i want to uh, i've been talking about you know uh we're in a simu you know simulation similar like a matrix a little matrix how uh, there's no such thing it's physical mental uh, everything's spiritual everything you view around us is conscious energy which is biblical because god spoke everything to existence uh, his words, our words, come from our thoughts, our consciousness. Just like when I'm speaking to you, this is not my mind speaking. Well, my mind's an interface, a graf graphical user interface, just like the computer. But uh, this is coming from my soul. And just like in God, his His consciousness creates this reality. That's what God is. He is spirit. Spirit he is without form. So I'm going to read you some... Uh, this is primarily me reading articles because uh, I know a lot of you people think I'm crazy. Some might accept what I'm saying, but majority probably think I'm crazy. I know you're not going to go research this for yourself. I'm not going to read these articles in its entirety. I'm going to read to you the title of it and the uh, main points. I read some of it. I'm basically paraphrasing. Paraphrasing. I'm giving you the, the, the quick notes. To prove this is not just me that uh, saying this, that uh, other people are saying, it. and these are secular people. These mostly, maybe they might be born again by believers, but these are uh, experts in the quantum field, quantum physics field that are uh, they go like by the facts, just like I do. I went by facts, scientific facts, knowing, not believing, and to show that uh, you know Christian needs to show some spiritual discernment. I'm gonna be reading you some articles that are. Of, that, that you can edify and some articles that, that you can't. Some articles that are of the devil because remember I told you eat the meat, spit out the bones. There's some bones in this article. I'm gonna read it and 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 tell you that this is a good article to read and this is not because don't think the devil is not in these uh, articles. They they like to the devil likes to make believe you make you think you're God even if you don't think that you're God, because a lot of these articles saying conscious creates reality, which is true and all that, but they omit God. Remember, I told you, the devil omits, doesn't he tells the 99%, he doesn't tell the 1%. Well, who, who's consciousness? Some articles they do actually say God, but like I said, God's an overused, diluted term. That could mean anything, that could be mean you. Most, like I said, uh, in terms of edification, if you if you go by your paradigm, like I see, your paradigm is a mode of thinking. Your, your operating system. If you go by uh, uh, most, like most Christians do, it's either all or nothing. If, it, if it's not the Bible, I don't don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah, you're yeah, you're not edifying yourself, truly. But, but yeah, if you're serving God, if, if you you follow only the Bible, but the God, the Holy Ghost guide you to all truth. Remember, it's your guide. If you yield it to it, don't you think he? He'll he'll tell you which one you should be reading, which one you should not. Especially if what you're reading is biblical. Hey, this this is in the Bible. I might tell you put it to the fire. The Bible is your final authority, but you can have other authorities. Authorities. It's not your only authority. It's your final authority. It's your last. Okay, if this is true. You can put this to the fire in the Bible. What I mean by put it to the fire is put this notion to the fire. They're saying. The, the scientists are saying uh, what we see is created by things that we don't see. That's biblical fact. He, I think it's the book of Hebrews. Things are formed in this world. Things that are formed that, that we see is uh, are things that we don't see. That's in the Bible. I don't probably have to look that up. Let me look that up right now. <clears throat> I think that's in uh, Hebrews. I told you, Bible has its science. It's a science book history book. It's a prophetic book. So, 
apologize. I should already have this on hand. Because I'm going to go through a lot of stuff here. Okay, Hebrews 11.3. This is uh, in the Bible, King James Bible. This is a scientific fact that quantum physicists, physicists, even if they don't, even if they're atheists, admit. Uh, like I said, I'm, this primarily going to be reading articles. You know, It's not going to be my words in this video. It's going to be the words of the physicists backing up what the Bible says. Hebrews 11.3. Through faith, faith is not of ourselves, it's of the Spirit. The Holy Ghost. We understand science, knowledge, that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. Remember, universe is spoken sentence. He spoke everything into existence. His words, you're made out of God's word, basically. That's what I'm saying. He holds you together by the by his word. Okay? Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That's a scientific fact. Okay. There's another one that's saying, um, uh, by by his very world word, he holds things together. Well, scientists saying this what we perceive right here, this this uh, matter and it, which is there's no such thing as matter. It's all energy. E equals M C squared. Do you guys really know what that means? Do you guys really know what e equals mc squared means? Do you have any idea? E is energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. What does that mean? Everything is energy. That's a biblical fact. That's a scientific fact. They both agree. Of course, they're both two sides of the same coin, but everything is energy. So, uh, the Bible says God's holding everything by his word. Holding. That means streaming live content, like like if I'm on the web, it has to be the signal has to be consistent streaming or phase out. Like you're watching TV, your signal has to be consistent, or you lose a signal, you lose a picture. That's what science is saying uh, with with consciousness. This consciousness is constantly streaming. If if it's ever stopped, there goes your 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 couch, your TV, everything. Boom, dissipates, disintegrates. It's God's word holding things together. So, like I said, don't believe me. I told you there's articles about it. I'm going to just tell you where I found it. Again, don't believe everything in the article. This is for edification. Okay? You read you read, you read, read the articles. If you're, This is primarily probably for, more for believers because unbelievers, they probably get sidetracked. But it's really for anyone. I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you. I need to stop saying this is for believers and unbelievers. This is for whoever. Where, whoever this edifies and builds on, that's who it's for. Whoever learns from this, that's what it's for. Uh, this is probably two videos. We've got a lot of articles. Uh, let's start with this one from, uh, I'll tell you, like I said, I'll tell you the URL and the, uh, the title. I'm not going to read the whole article, like I said. I want, I'm not spoon feeding. I want you to do research for yourself. First one here is uh, consciousness. This is what it's called. Consciousness creates our immaterial, mental, and spiritual universe. It's from the wakingtimes.com. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read out some of the high points. Consciousness creates reality. Is it a, it's a sacralized term? They, not, like I said, they, they, the promise of God. Uh, they, they, it's, it's like they'll they'll talk about God but not talk about God. What I mean is, you you ever overhear a conversation between family members that's talking about someone they don't never say his name, never describe him, but it, it, it's, it's it, they're describing things you did that day. That's what I mean. They uh, they're talking about you but they're not talking about you. But they're really talking about you. I don't. Uh, I don't know if I can say that any better, but that's what they do here. Remember, I tell you, these guys are secular people. They're not 
all Bible believing people, but they're describing God even if they don't want to admit it. That's my point. Okay? They have to succumb to God's providence. They have to. There's no choice. So it starts out here, consciousness creates reality. Remember, I'm reading from the article. This is this is not me. It's not my words. This is an article on the internet. I don't know if you can see that. Consciousness creates reality. The statement has gained a lot of attention across the various alternate media outlets around the world. Make no mistake, consciousness, studied by numerous scientists, especially in related to quantum physics and high be might be correlated with the nature of our reality. Remember I told you, Al Einstein says, reality is an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. Why is it very persistent? Because even if you're saved, you can say, yeah, I know I'm a soul, this, that, and third, and all that. You've been conditioned and indoctrinated to think you're not a soul, that you are your mind and you are your body. Even I, even I can admit that. With Even knowing this, I can admit that. Being fully walking in man, you're supposed to walk in, just shall live by faith to be fully walked by faith and not by sight sight is in this is to know that you are a spiritual being one to, i'm talking about no you already are even unsafe people are whether they admit or not you have to know on all levels you are a spiritual being that means i'm going to go into time time is an illusion that's what Albert einstein says i got theory to back that up yeah how, how does it how does time affect the spirit if you're a spirit being hot to time to affect you, oh yeah, it affects your body, your body age, your body's under the curse. Your spirit, if you're saved, is not under the curse. If you're not, your spirit is under the curse. Okay, time has no effect on my soul because a soul cannot die, cannot age. God cannot age. Like I said, it's beyond time. If you're fully in the spirit of the Holy Ghost, you're beyond time. Scientists has to make time's illusion, man. It's 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 relative. It's not. It's not absolute. Of course, it's of the curse. It's of the curse. Curse of, of the world. Time. Darkness. It's all the curse. But I'll go into time later. Let's let's see if I can. I say I'll probably make two videos. There's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, any other thoughts here? See, like I said, use spiritual discernment. If you don't think the devil's in this article, think again. This, there's a quote for the Buddha, you know, humanism and everything. Use your spiritual discernment. Take the good stuff, spit out the bones, or you'll choke on the bones and, and die spiritually. Uh, there's a quote from the Buddha, what, what we are, what we think. That's a biblical statement. We are what we think. A man thinketh in his heart so easy. I got nothing wrong with that, but here's what he says more. All that we arise is with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. Uh, if it, that that is that is true. If you if you're unsaved, if if you're unsaved, your your thoughts your thoughts create your reality. You're not gonna listen to a word I'm saying. As you, as a man thinketh, so is he. Okay, that so that's true. But if if you're saved, it's it's God's guiding your thoughts. God's your new. Uh, think of. Think of Holy Ghost being a new operating system. Your operating system is before the devil. Now it's of God. Now your God, the Holy Ghost, is your operating system. It's your windows. It's telling you how to perceive it. So, uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, you got to do spiritual discernment. And uh, let me see here. Talks about manufactured consent. But yeah, there's one right there. Let's go to the next one. Like I said, I probably want to do this for 50 minutes and do and go through. I got a lot of articles. Here's another one. The title is Evidence That the Human Body is a Projection of Consciousness. The Mind Unleashed Human Thought uh, Determined Reality. That that I don't agree with. Uh, like I said, the, the energy that's from God. Okay, my God. Think of God as the programmer at the computer. I'm talking to IT people. If you're not IT, I don't. I don't think I can make this any simpler. But think of you as your IT programmer. The IT programmer is God. He's he typing the code. You're the compiler. You're the thing that takes the the information from the programmer, God. Remember, DNA's programming language, Bill Gates said that he had to admit it. You, uh, 
you take the pro the, the programming code language from God okay when I say take you absorb it this is this is scientific fact this is a matter if you're saved or not saved. this is how it is and you perceive reality so you're you're obser the, you're observing if, think of energy as code you're obser you're you're just observing the code and how it, how it looks in its compiled compiled form God sees everything like it says in source code there's a movie called source code by the way so yeah, I mean best way to to explain to non uh, IT people go to Firefox go to a website uh, and I don't know how you go to view and view source code or play Google using viewing source code of a program viewing source code of a uh, website a, a, a website yeah it may have the graphics and look all pretty but it's really code it's lines of code it's like the matrix when the guy says he's looking at the TV is this the matrix do you always have to look at it in coding? Yeah, you say, I don't see the code. I see blonde, hair, brunette. Like I said, that's how God can see us. He, he wrote the source code. He is the source code. Okay? Your, the, your Windows on your computer, it's all source code. What I mean by that is there's a back end to the window. It's all lines of code. Think of the lines of code as the energy. Everything is energy. So I don't know if I explained it well. Like I said, I don't want to type to ramble my own thoughts I want to read articles or other people saying saying this is not just me this is other people saying it but yeah uh, think of energy as co nothing more but programming code your soul takes it like I said you're connected through creator like uh, like Wi-Fi to a to a uh, co uh, like an internet signal to to a Wi-Fi adapter on your computer this is for everybody. This is unsafe. I'm not talking about salvation. It's talking about how you perceive your reality. You take the source code from him and you see a phone. Oh, remember, all this is the same. They don't look the same. Sign saying different. The Bible says it's different. Chair. My body. They all made of the same stuff. Everything is energy. Everything's 99.999 free space. The, the the reason why this looks like it is and feels like it is it's different different frequency of vibration. Frequency means word, of course, God's word, but they won't tell you God's word. They'll just say word, they'll secularize it. Frequency means God's word. Means word, but it's really God's word. Remember, he spoke everything into existence. He didn't people think God did this with his hands, like a magic uh, yeah, he can have hands if you want, because like I said, he can have a form because he sits on the throne. Right now Jesus Christ is sitting on the throne. But he's really more just spirit. He spoke everything to existence. Spoke. Let there be light. He spoke everything to existence. This is it's not such thing as solidity, uh hardness or, or softness. It's just different perceptions of vibration, frequency. So let me start rambling. Like I said, this is a reading through the articles and can keep uh, rambling on. So yeah, uh, evidence that the human body is a projection of consciousness. Human thought. Okay, yeah, this is accurate. I think this is biblically accurate. Human thought determines reality, not create. I'm not God, but don't say I'm not a divine God-like being because I'm made in God's image, a spirit, a spirit. I'm not an animal. Uh, a dog doesn't have a soul. It dies, it dies. Done. Me, when I die, I'm going to live forever. I'm saved. You're going to live forever. Your choice where you're going to live is up to you. So yeah, this is a biblical statement. Human thought determines reality, not creates. We take the source code from him. It comes into our soul. And your body is just, think of your body as your, your the peripherals. Like I said, the, the, your body is a computer whether you like it or not. Think of a what makes really a computer a computer is not the mouse, the keyboard, the camera, the mouse, uh, the uh, the hard drive. That is not what makes a computer. What makes the computer is the operating system, the software. Software is digital information. Well, what do you know? Scientist says your soul is nothing but conscious digital information. So, so if it, I'm speaking to to born again Bible believers, when you say you're saved and you're a spiritual being. You, if, if you compare yourself to a, a, a I'm talking about principally speaking in a, a, to like a computer all these things here the, the keyboard the the camera that's just a graphical interface the way you uh, observe what I'm saying is your eyes don't see 
the ears don't hear, their mouth don't talk. They're they're just they're just the the outward manifestations of your soul to interpret this reality, to determine this reality. Okay? What makes the computer is not the outward hard physical element, which is not such thing, but it's not the uh the keyboard and everything, it's the software that makes a computer. What no take the software out of the computer, what you got? Dead. You got a nice paperweight. Take the software, take the software which is your soul out of your body. You got a lifeless body. So my soul leaves me right now. My heart stops, my soul leaves me. That's why I say you got knocked unconscious. Yeah, your soul's not in your body right there. It, it left. I wanna knock you out unconscious. Yes, unconscious, out of consciousness. Your soul's gone. What happens when people are unconscious? They fall. Boom. Same thing with a computer. I delete my software, my operating system. It's a nice paperweight. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can use the the concept of the internet. Uh, internet is just digital information. You you don't you don't go on. The internet's not in your computer. You view it. Okay. Okay. When you view the when you we all view the same sky. That's the same way of saying, I can be in Africa and view Google.com, and you can be in America. We're still viewing Google.com. Remember, we're all we're all connected. Really, all I saved and I said, okay, we're all spiritual beings. We're all connected. Okay, we're all a hive mind. Okay, we all. That's why we all see the same things. Remember, we don't create reality. We determine it. Take the source code from God and mold it, shape it, and determine it. So, um, well, I probably made it worse. You don't want to explain to me. That's why I'm just gonna read. I'm not gonna, not gonna talk my own thoughts. Uh, they talk about here the double slit experiment, where um, scientists with experience, you just by you observing it, which again hints that you're created by a divine being because you're divine light. The way just by you observing the experiment, you alter it, res, its results. Google double slit experiment. So let's see what else it says. I got a lot. See, a lot to go over. A lot to go over. Talks about bodies, a projection of consciousness, which it, which it is. Just like the, t the computer screen in your TV is nothing but a projection of the, the software in it. Because the TV now is our computers. Everything's computers. Computers, computers. Uh, so, uh, talks about the holographic universe. There's a documentary called Holographic Universe. I know because. I took an insert of it and inserted it into a documentary called Self Enslavement. Self Enslavement, what you see on YouTube, really, really good do uh, documentary because again, it doesn't quote the Bible, but it it, it gives God his due. That's all I'm saying. Give all to you atheists. Can you see you stop this? Can you give God his credit? Yeah, you're going to hell. You don't believe in Christ. Can you at least give him the credit that he exists, the, his power. Notice his omnipotent power. That 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 documentary. It was a secular documentary, but even he had to admit that to some supernatural being has to be. That's the only way this can scientifically prove this, make it logical. We didn't come from a rock. We're not chemicals. We're not animals. Okay. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going through this uh, because. I told you the URL is for you to go through this. Another one, how to exit the matrix.com. Consciousness creates reality. Physicists admit, admit. That means they have to succumb. They're probably atheists. Most of these physicists are. But they have to admit the universe immaterial, not physical. Mental and spiritual, which really not mental. The universe is spiritual. 100%. Here's a guy that makes a really good quote. He says, looking for the consciousness in the brain is like looking in the radio for the announcer. I can't explain it a lot better. Okay, Your consciousness is not in your brain. It's beyond this. This is a holographic representation of your soul. It's beyond. It's just like, just like the, uh, yeah, when you listen to the radio, 
many people says, yeah, you're, you're your mind. Well, when you listen to the radio, the, it, it, the, the announcer must be physically in the radio. No, he's projecting his voice through that medium. That's what your mind is, what's your body. It's just a medium, okay? Think, think of my body as the computer. My soul is a software that's telling it what to do. Move, feel, touch, you know, that's all that is. So, here's a, you ever wonder uh, where the term matrix comes from? I'll tell you. From Max Planck, a theoretical physicist. I don't know if he was saved. He won the Nobel Peace Prize. He says, everything we talk about, everything regards as existing, postulating consciousness. The 99.99 free empty space that I talk about, you know what Max Planck call it? The matrix, that's his words, not mine, the matrix of all matter. That's where you got the term matrix from, the move the matrix. The vibrational energy that makes everything up is the matrix of all matter. But yeah, you're in God's matrix. You're in God's matrix, but the devil's rule system is the devil's matrix making you think you are your mind, that no, you are your physical, there's no spiritual, it's physical, 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 mental, mental. That's the devil's matrix. So you're in two matrices. You're in the real one, God's matrix, but the devil has his put your blinders on top of it, his matrix. Trust your five senses, okay? Don't listen to me. Uh, we, what we see is what we believe, five sense reality. David I talks about this. Like I said, David Icke of the devil, absolutely, but he even he has to admit that. No, five sense, five sense reality is the prison the devil has you in, okay? That's just merely interpretation of me experiencing this reality. There's already there's really one sense, and that's the spiritual sense, your intuition. So another one, Eugene Wagner, theoretical physicist and mathematician. It's not possible, this is a quote, to formulate the laws of quantum mechanics in a fully consistent way without reference to consciousness. He's saying, I can't, I can't explain this universe without mentioning consciousness, the spirit. Don't even know, I need, probably need to look up the background, see if he's saved or not. But I, really, I, I believe it if he's saved. I'll be either way if he's saved or not. Either way, you have to give God his glory. That's all I'm asking. This is probably the point of this video. Give God his glory. Realize his omnipotent power. God created us. Created us. You know, people say, what's the meaning of life? Simple. Simple. To glorify God. I can't say in simple that. To glorify him. He created us because it pleased him. To glorify him. Which was what I'm doing right now. There's another quote here. Hen R.C. Henry, a uh, physics professor. It's a long quote. Bear with me. As observers, like I said, we we observe the source code God gives us. As observers, we are personally involved with the uh, creation of our own realities. Because like I said, I don't believe that. We're not co-creators. You can say to a... I guess you, you form what, what God gives you, but I don't want, I want to stay away from creation. Like I said, I'm divine being. I'm God-like, but I'm not God. But here's what I do agree with. Physicists are being forced. God's providence. Physicists are being forced to admit that the universe is a mental construction. God's mind. Mental construction. Mind no longer appears to be an accidental intruder into the realm of matter. We ought to rather hail it as the creator and the governor of the realm of matter. Get over it and accept the inarguable conclusion. The universe is immaterial, mental, and spiritual. I, like I said, I, I, I agree partially. It's not mental. It's all spiritual. That's his word. He says, get over it. Accept it. This is your atheist. Get over it. Stop running from God. Accept it. Would you rather me telling you this or Jesus Christ telling you this when you're at the great right throne? Because he's going to tell you. Why didn't you believe in my father? He's going to say, forget me. I already know you're not saved, but you're not even going to, why are you an atheist? Why do you believe in yourself? Rather, I'd rather swallow my pride and listen to this nut job that doesn't have no degrees. He's unemployed living in his parents' house than almighty God, Jesus Christ. I'll tell you that.
so yeah, I'm gonna stop at 50 minutes. Keep going. Let's move to the next one. Frequency and vibration. Remember, what what appears to be solid, liquid, gas, three levels are all the same. Just different levels. Think about it as a radio station. AM, FM radio frequency. Like I said, there was a movie called Frequency. Good movie you should watch. It's still the radio. Different frequencies, different bands, but it's still the radio, right? Same thing with solid liquid gas. Three different states of matter. Same thing. Different frequencies. This is from uh, co-spirit, core spirit dot co dot uk. Frequency and vibration: how they create the structures of matter and life. Nikola Tesla. There he is, right? Here. The father of free energy. Did someone say he he is a father of radio? Not Marconi. I guess I probably believe that because I told you what the Jesuits do. They kill the people that really, the Bible-believing people, the God-fearing people. They take all their, like I said, the Bible has Vatican library. You don't know what they have in terms of technology. They take your technology and you give it to a, one that serves their needs. He says, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of frequency and vibration. Of course, frequency means word. God's word. They won't say God, God but it is God's word. Like I said, Bill Hicks says this. So he must be, a, I don't think he was saved. There's a stand-up, type in Bill Hicks, we, we are living in simulation. We're all, we, we all ex experiencing things in a low, this is what he says, in a low vibration so we can experience different levels of matter. That's what he says. Now, I don't say that. Bill Hicks. Uh, yeah, it talks about frequency and vibration. That says a lot of articles. Let's move on. There's another one, humansarefree.com. Like I said, I'm not a human being. I think that's a derogatory form, a derogatory term. That means a monster. Monster is something that has no soul. Monster.com, job site. I'm a man. God created man. God didn't create human. Ten scientific studies that proven consciousness interacts with the physical world. Talks about Nikola Tesla again. Same quote. Think in terms of... Uh, energy, frequency, and vibration. The consciousness of the planet is ready to embrace them, like free energy. Everything's energy. Okay? Uh, that's why th there's no such thing as money. Really, there's no such thing as money. If you want to think something that's of value, it's your energy, your time. If you don't believe me? Well, then why do we say, I gotta pay attention? I'm spending time right now talking to you. Energy is the only real currency. Okay? That's what the Bible is. That's, and we tied the Bible into this. Redeem the days, the time, because the days are evil. I already told you, you get judged on how you spend your time. Rest my case. Niels Bohr. Physicists, everything we call real is made of things that cannot be regarded as real. He said it, not me. Niels Bohr, I think he was a physicist too, Nobel Prize winner. Don't know what he said. Maybe he was. But th this is not a video about salvation. This is about existence of God. It's undeniable. Romans 1.20, you're without excuse. Things that are formed are formed by things that cannot be regarded as real. Hebrews, I think, 11.3. Go on next one. Let's see here. Negativity. Negativity. You can, in biblical terms, for you believers, you can determine it if it be in sin, because as a man thinketh, sure he will be. Every sin you do outwardly, physically, originated as work, as a thought. Well, the scary power is the title. The scary power of negative words. Words are thoughts. Uh, 
goop.com. How the words we choose shape our lives. You better believe it us. Talks about the illusion of life. Physical matter does not really exist. This energy vibrates at an infinite number of subtle, subtle, subtle frequencies that cause it to appear as all different creations we see in the world. Yeah, how many of you know about this uh, experiment by a Japanese scientist, Emoto? Your brain, your, your water being. Earth is water, your water. Brain 70% water. That should be common knowledge. Well, do you know uh, your thoughts impact water tremendously? He, this guy did the experiment where he played harsh music. This is why you be careful. I must, remember, I said you can watch TV, but make no mistake. You, you do not use it for edification, and you don't watch it critically. It can change your perception and demonize you. I'm talking to this to unbelievers. But basically, th this experiment proves... Uh, what you think of your negative thoughts shapes, affects the your body, your water. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you the specifics of the experiment because, like I'm saying, I got a lot to talk about. But look up words in water. Uh, Masaru Emoto, Japanese scientist, saying that your thoughts are more powerful than you think. The power of gratitude. Don't tell me this is not biblical. The Bible talks about thank you, thanking God, thanking people. Uh, saying prayer for me, thank you. It's a scientific fact. The mentally strong people, they're not mentally strong, they're really spiritually strong, are the ones that are grateful. I'm starting to say thank you for just about everything, even even then when I don't see reason to, to thank someone, thank them for everyone. Even someone that says, let me help you out, but they didn't, they didn't actually help me out. They actually made it worse. I still am thanking them. So they, they, they're saying the scientific fact, like I said, they're not using the Bible that uh, scientifically uh, speaking, the mentally strong, which is really spiritually strong, the people that are grateful, grateful for everything. Gratitude. Your words are powerful. Saved or not saved, they're still powerful because you're a divine being. Not a god, you're godlike. Anyone that says contrary, then went, I'm no different than my cat here. That means I don't have a soul when, when I die go in the dust but you evolutionists you humanists humanism you uh, work salvation people which is humanism everything's humanism you're the god humanism like I said read that book long war against God by dr. Henry Morris he is a Bible believer because he uses quotes up from the scripture all throughout the book that's a book I recommend every Strongly recommend every Bible believer to read The Long War Against God by Dr. Henry Morris. Henry Morris. If you want, I paid for the book. It's an ebook. I paid for it. I have no problem giving it to you for free because, like I said, you're my brethren. I love you. I'll give it to anybody that wants it. Just uh, email me or comment me. Uh, send me that ebook. I'll send it to you. The Long War Against God by Dr. Henry Morris. He has Bible quotes everywhere. He is saved. Um. Here's another one. Ten Consciousness Facts. Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit dot com. As you know, ten facts about consciousness. Like I said, I'm not gonna say things that I already repeated. I'm just talking about things I didn't had that previous articles never mentioned. Talks about vibration of feel. Yeah, this sounds like the one that already expresses the points I say before. Frequency ranges. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is why I chose this. It's funny. Talk about levels of consciousness, correct? Right? It has a graph. Go to this site. Body, mind, soul, spirit dot com body mind soul spirit dot com ten consciousness facts has a graph about how you are how do you know if you're in the the power stage of consciousness and how you are in the fourth stage uh, uh, traits of someone that's in the power stage again this I think only can be fully
experience if you're saved are enlightenment, peace, joy, joy is a fruit of the spirit, love, reason, acceptance, acceptance, willingness. Uh, don't believe in this one. Like I say, spiritual discernment, neutrality. No, God's absolute. That I don't believe, but definitely courage. You only fear God. I fear God. I fear nothing else. Absolutely not. The fear man brings a snare. But here's what it says about if you're in the fourth stage. Pride, anger, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt, and shame. It's funny. That's in the fourth stage. Guess what movie's coming out? Star Wars. The Force Awakens. Well, but in that movie, it's appeared to be as good. Remember, I told you. Spiritual discernment. Don't have that. Don't watch movies. But movies can be edified. Don't. Make no bones about it. But yeah, to this, to this, according to this chart, force are, the force is the negativity. It's it's really describing the the unsaved, pride, the anger, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt, shame. That's traits I had when I was unsaved, and that's under the title of the force. Yeah, may the force be with you. Body, mind, soul, spirit. dot com frequency DNA in the human body. Yeah. Remember I told you earlier, you being sick, disease, um, mental illness, all all has to do with, what's, what, let's break down that word, dis-ease. Take out the dis-ease. My body's at ease. I have a disease. It's in dis-ease. It's being disrupted. Why? Frequency. And this guy, Josh Richardson, that's what he starts off with. Absolutely everything is frequency. You cannot have experience on this planet without attracting it through frequency. Attracting? Does that is he whether he knows it or not, I'm breaking the sound biblically. He's talking about demons. Attracting. I sin, demon comes. A demon is nothing more but a thought being. It's a spirit. Disease has frequency. Your organs are each tuned to a specific frequency in your entire body. There's no just no need. Remember, the devil wants to make you think this spiritual world is material, physical. That's why you have, you have to have hospitals everywhere. By the way, you know where you got the word hospital from. I'm going to tie into the Jesuits for all you think your Illuminati uh, people saying that it's Illuminati. Jesuits are a benign group. They're not the, they're just a power. They're not the only power. This is proof that they're the supreme power. Look up this term, hospital. It comes from the Knights Hospitals. Hospital, can't even pronounce any hospitalers, knights, servants of Rome, Jesuit order. You ever wonder where that name come? They're from. There you go. Uh, anyway, you have to have all, all these hospitals here to indoctrinate you to think. Okay, your your body, body, you're not spirit. Your body. You need to go to a doctor to do, do this, do that to yourself. Now, don't get me wrong. This certain needs to go to to the doctor. But I don't think. For disease, or cold. people go to doctor for cold. This, this is what we need. Check this for us believers. Check your sin. Let God heal you. Okay. There's no need for doctors if you read uh, truly saved. Definitely need pharma. Pharma. Let's say this: pharmaceutical medicine. Because like I said pharmakia is the Greek word sorcery. What do you need a sorcerer for? Which doctor? That's what a pharmacist is. That you don't need. Talks about uh, electrical con uh, conduction. Remember, your body is nothing but electrical field. That's what demons channel through him. You see Star Wars. What does the Sith do? Which are the people who are demon possessed? Their power is electrical power. They shock them. Spider Man too. Electro. His power is electric electricity. Funny. He moves in and out of the world like a demon. He goes into electrical power. That's how he comes. No, he has form. Then all of a sudden he doesn't have form. Demon. Electricity. Benny Hinn, when he's sending his electrical power, I have shocked you. That, that's his words. That's not me. Look up Benny Hinn, electrocuting people. Electrocution. Boom. I have shocked you. Yeah. Demon. In you. By power electricity. Electricity is of God. Make no mistake. The devil uses God's designs. Says what I said here. Adam is about 99.999. I'm not going to say all the nines. Empty space. If you remove the energy space from the atoms, God's word, from all people, the entire human race could fit in the single, fit in the volume of a sugar cube. Yeah, this is even me. Is, for this is hard to to comprehend. The whole universe. 
this is what they say, not me. Whole universe, all this matter, all the thing that you appears to be solid. Take out this vibrational energy, which is God's word. The matter, the only physical part is just a pea. That's what they say, not me. This guy says everything will fit in a sugar cube. The entire human race, because we're made of the same stuff as the universe. Here's another biblical fact. I remember I was talking about Bible is scientific fact. God, how did God create the body from the earth? Well, this, he's the potter where the clay, remember? Well, do you know your body's made from the same stuff the earth is made? Same stuff that you are the universe. Now, I don't want to lose people because people's thinking I'm God. I see, remember, you're God like. I'm made from the same stuff as the universe. I'm talking my physical body, which is nothing physical, but Earth is made from nitrogen, hydrogen. Look it up. Nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon. That's what your body's made of. Well, you know, the sun's made out of that. That's what your body's made of. The God said he formed man from the Earth, blew, blew his breath, the soul. He blew the operating system, the software, into man. And the man became a living soul. So uh, I'm about to wrap up here. I'll I'll keep going. It talks about Fibonacci ratios. I talked about that before. How Fibonacci is God's mathematics, the synchronicity, how everything is in perfect symmetry. How it 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 shows that this intelligent, this design is intelligent. It's not by accident. Somebody has to create it. This is for all you atheists. Research Fibonacci. Um, I'll end with this gizmodo.com 10 reasons our universe might actually be a virtual reality they don't want to admit might, it is Chuck Mister oh, you, you're definitely not safe because you're spewing this Chuck Mister, I know for a fact I can't say no, I don't know, it's hard I strongly believe he's saved because he's the one that taught me the doctrine of eminence, where the, the blessed hope, he breaks down the Bible like you wouldn't believe. He, uh, I strongly believe he saved. He mentioned simulation. Briefly, not into detail, any, in his ministries. Look up Chuck Missler, end time scenario. Yeah, he says, yeah, we're all in simulation. He says it briefly. I said, okay, that meant to say, okay, maybe I'm not crazy. Because don't believe me. Believe me. It's like, God, is this you or the devil? No, this is of God. Everything's a test, remember? Talks about um, funny. It says ten reasons. I only see five. It says our universe has a maximum speed. Remember, proton, neutron, electron. The neutrons in the middle. Proton, electrons outside. Trinity. Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Trinity. I don't like saying that's a Roman term, but three. Proton, electron, neutron. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Beginning, time, space, matter. Proton, electron, neutron. The the, the in the proton electron that's outside the neutron spinning at the speed of light so fast that's what creates everything to be solid they are moving like this right that's to tell you someone's uh, transmitting this it's in constant if it, they stop then you start to see what I'm talking about if that stopped I would disintegrate before your very eyes that's God holding me by his word you guys know what I'm talking about when you see a mo molecule and atom? Look up a physical diagram, like an animation. Boom, the speed of light. That's what feels like, okay, this has to be solid. Of course it feels solid. I mean, a computer-generated dream, like people in Inception. Inception, remember? Inception uh, talks about the Matrix being it's it's more real, it's a more accurate movie, scientific than you think. But no one talks about Inception. Inception is a really good movie. It talks about uh, subconscious. It, it talks about how devil confuses you. Inception is a really good movie if you interpret it correctly. How the devil uses propaganda makes you turn you on yourself. Propaganda is not me deceiving you. It's you deceiving yourself. Inception, for those who truly grasp it, even unbelievers can grasp it. That's what Inception is about, that movie, period. Talks about physical realism, which doesn't exist. Quantum realism, which is a virtual reality, which is what we are. So yeah, I'll stop here. We're going 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, you're in a virtual reality. 
virtual uh, non-believers. I don't think Albert Einstein was saved. He was a German Jew. I think he's a Jesuit coadjutor. He said it, not me. Reality is an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. It's a very persistent one because the devil wants you to think seeing is believing that five senses is all it's to it to this world. And it's not. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Peace.